Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis, episode 15 with our series here. Go ahead and take a look at the numbers. Currently, heat is a little bit over our goal, uh, but we're still lowering it with the cooling plants I built. Taking a look at pressure, we've gone over the goal, but that's no issue there. We'll go ahead and handle that here in a second. Oxygen still sitting at zero, which is fine because we can just uh, turn some of these off and, and fix that. So we'll go do that. And then water is almost at our goal. We're going to want to try slowing this down. So let's go ahead and start with heat temperature, actually analyzing it here. Um, it is fine the way it is right now. So we'll let that lower at the minus four and then turn one of these off. And the other one will be for canceling out the atmosphere thickening. As for pressure, we're going to go ahead and deal with that. Turn on probably two of these bio fixture labs and see if that fixes the issue. So we'll click on colonies here, go to pressure. The And these actually will increase oxygen as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll turn on two bio fixture labs. We could probably bring that down to 100,000. I'll need to really closely watch that over the next few days. And we're going to need to build something that can add oxygen and cancel this out. Minus 41. <clears throat> We've got fissure vents, which is a problem. And the spaceport. The spaceport's what's giving us an odd number. Um, How do I cancel out that last pressure? I probably don't have to. Let's go ahead and build some stuff here. Let me get... We're going to need to tweak these numbers in smaller numbers than minus 60. It's too much to work with. So let's go ahead and get, some, um, get two sequestration plants up. And then that can play with the numbers a lot less aggressively. We probably should go ahead as well and get two of the thermal dust ones up because we can play with the numbers that way using thermal dust. Those will cancel each other out, but we can play with the numbers back and forth and that'll give us what we want. So we'll let those build. Going over to oxygen, we've got plus 20 now. So I've already, by turning on the two bio fixtures lab, I've increased the oxygen. Um, I'm going to leave the bio fixture labs turned on for a little bit because pressure is now negative 41. So we'll let that run. So that'll get our oxygen up. Uh, once I turn those off, we're going to be <clears throat> we're going to be at uh, another minus 30. That'll put us at minus 10. But uh, like I said, I could turn off these O2 filters to cancel that out. So I'll let that run and I won't worry about it. Water's going back up now because of, I guess, the global cooling. Plus 47 is a lot. We've built one geocistern. I can turn on an electrosis plant and slow it down. The electrosis plant, I believe, adds pressure. If I remember correctly. No, it adds oxygen, which is okay. So we're going to turn one of these on. That'll put us at plus 30 oxygen which is fine for now, but I ought to consider if we're going to leave the electrosis plant on and we probably are going to leave it on, um, that'll be plus 10 oxygen. We need to cancel out and we've already got all the O2 filters, but we know that that's going to leave us at a deficit. So we should be able to balance this when the time comes. So we'll leave it at that. I think we should be able to balance it. Shouldn't be an issue. Let's go ahead and start getting ready for animals. Uh, we're not there yet, but we're going to get there. So we're going to want to have some aquatic life ready to go. Uh, probably best that we find a new colony and do it. So we can have a separate area versus piling them into these ones we're trying to balance. But we could also put them in the temperature one. Temperature tweaking should be very simple and shouldn't take a lot of space. So we could change the name of this colony to temp slash life and then manage it in here. I think that's going to be a lot better, uh, I think. And we are going to eventually need more population if we're going to get the culture points for it. So it wouldn't hurt to have another settlement that we could... That we could adjust...
A seemingly normal engineer working on her level one hab dome and oxygen has turned out to be something of a prodigy under her guidance facility can be upgraded to a center level X and run without maintenance at all. Okay, that changes everything. Let's go ahead and accept that. We are going to keep this temp in life now because that's going to make our hab dome hold a lot of people. Uh, let's take a look and see what that's done now. So now it holds 275,000 people and it produces 55 oxygen and 110 water. <laughs> um, okay, we can leave it like that, but we've got some serious balancing if we're going to keep it. So 275,000 would be good. That would definitely push us over the 500,000 population limit, which is great. It'll get us another culture point. So that'll put us at 85% because I'm going to spend this culture point now. So we'll only need three more culture points to win. Let me see. How am I going to balance this now? Oxygen is plus 75. We've already got some carbon fixers on standby, so we can cancel some of it out with a carbon fixer. Let me go ahead and turn on a carbon fixer now so it doesn't get out of control on me over the next day or so. That's going to increase pressure, but we're canceling out pressure. That should be fine for now. You know what we're going to need to do, though? We're going to need to build more O2 filters. Maybe. Or if we turn on a carbon fixer, that's the additional press pressure. That's plus 20 pressure. If we go into pressure, we could keep the carbon fixers on and we could build stuff that cancels out pressure. We are already building We're already building these. I'm actually going to get rid of the thermal dust plants. We have so many things that give us pressure when they are turned off that if I need more pressure, I'll just cancel it out that way. I think I'm going to be canceling pressure more than adding pressure. So I'm actually going to cancel both of these thermal dust. Let's just stick with the sequestration plants for now. And let's actually build two more sequestration plants instead. And see how that goes for us. We can always build the thermal dust plants later if I think I'm going to need it. Nope. Perfect. Okay, we'll see what that takes us. I can upgrade these over time to cancel out the... I'll upgrade them to cancel out the carbon fixers. If I turn off the biofixture labs, we will have an almost plus... We we'll have a massive, actually, plus in pressure. It'll be uh, almost plus 90. So we need to be able to cancel that out at all times. One biofixture lab turned on at all times will give us a plus 30. And then I should be able to upgrade the sequestration plants to cancel that 30 out. And I can just turn those off as I need more pressure. Now it's going to be the oxygen that we've got to handle, which we're working on building. Or we turned on the two carbon fixers. We do need oxygen to go up. If I turn the other carbon fixer on, that'll put us at minus five. If I turn that O2 filter off, that'll be minus one. So we'll leave it like that. I may... If I turn off one of these biofixture labs and turn on one of the ones that aren't upgraded, this will turn to a more, this will turn to an even number that I can manage because uh, the hab dome now. And those biofixture labs actually, I don't think, reduce pressure as much. Let's see. Oh no, I upgraded them all, so they're all the same. That was not a good idea. I did that so they'd cancel each other out. So I just would have to turn off one biofixture lab to fix oxygen, which I'm going to be doing anyways. Okay, so we're going to let it run now as it is. I think I've balanced everything out into uh, such a way that it'll work out. I just need to look at water. Okay, plus 96 is way too fast. We've got one more electrosis plant, but it's not going to slow it down. That Habdome X is making a lot. So the only thing to do would be to make an ice launcher. Another ice launcher would put us at... Mm, would cancel the 110, well, no, that put us way over. But if I made an ice launcher and turned the electrosis plan off, that would put us at plus 60. 
if I take the geocistern off. Let me build more geocisterns too and start upgrading them. And let me build another ice launcher. It's minus 10 pressure. We can we can manage that. No, that's not what I want. I want more geocisterns. Okay, just let that run for a minute. And we're going to upgrade this one. Okay, we'll see where that puts us. All right, so we're going to let it run. I'll let all this stuff build, and then we'll check up on it in a bit. So I want to thank you all for joining me for this episode. I do hope that you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.